Welcome to this quick tutorial where I will show you how you set up the OSC watch for Avatars 3.0. And uh, first of all, it's important that you use the newest SDK3 uh, where they added OSC, which was just lately. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure to update your SDK. Okay, so you download this here from Boost after the purchase. Now, after extracting, you find two things. One is the Unity package and the other is the application. So you just import the Unity package into your project where you have your avatar in. Just click import. Okay, now in your project under assets, you find the Remarja Boost asset folder. Go in there, you find an OSC watch folder, you go in there. And then you find a readme, that's the link to the Google Drive documentary that you should open. In case you cannot do that, you can also find a PDF file. You can also click on the watch prefab and then just click on open documentation. That's the easiest way to get there. So let me just quickly open that and you will find there's a Google Drive document that explains the setup with pictures. Now, let me uh, show you how it's done. First of all, we want to add it to this beautiful avatar. This is made by the creator also of the watch model. So expand the armature, hips, spine, chest, shoulder, we will put it on the left arm. Now under the shoulder you will find usually uh, two arm bones, that's the upper arm and the lower arm. Those can have different names on your own avatar. Now we don't want to put it on the wrist, we want to put it on uh, the elbow bone essentially. Okay, so I will drag it in there and it's now below the hand bone essentially. Now I can just position it. I can uh, scale it obviously. And you will most likely want to have it slightly tilted so it already comes like that. Okay. Now under the model, if you expand the prefab, you will find that there are a couple of blend shapes. And those blend shapes are there to control how the wrist uh, forms around the arm. And you can do a lot of uh, different adjustments there. After you've done the adjustments as you wish, you can simply press the complete setup button. And this is a script that does everything for you. Now before you press this, make sure that your avatar has a VSC avatar descriptor. And in there you need to at least have a parameter defined. Now this can be the default one, um, but that's an object that is definitely needed. Okay, so let me go back to the watch prefab and let me click complete setup. You will see the script is removed so that you can upload your avatar. And if I go to my console, you will see that there are a couple of messages and hopefully you will see setup completed. If you see any errors here, it's because you have a missing component on your avatar and it will tell you what to do. But in uh, the usual case, you will just see the setup completed message and that means that you are good to go and you can upload the avatar and it will just work on your avatar. Now just have a quick look what it actually did. On the FX layer, it added a couple of uh, layers here and a couple of parameters. All of them starts with the RMBA, Remote Boost Asset uh, prefix. And in there you find the blend tree setups for those parameters. Okay, but this is all done automatically. Uh, what also happened is you now have, uh, in the parameters you have three parameters added. It's important that you have this space left as described on the product page. You need 16 bits left for the watch and one bit for the Discord mic toggle. If you don't want the Discord mic, you can simply hit delete on there and it will not be uh, active. Uh, if you don't want the watch, you can also just remove those two and they will not be active. You can remove all the watch stuff essentially. Uh, for the Discord mic to work, all you need really is this mic toggle parameter. Okay. Uh, what you can do now, if you want to use the Discord mic toggle, is you need to go into your menu somewhere, wherever you want, essentially. I will 
simply add it to the main menu in this case. So I will just add a control and there I will call this Discord mic and I make this a toggle. And the parameter is the Discord mic toggle that was automatically set up. If I want to, I can also define a texture. Okay, in my case, I added this Discord uh, icon now that I found on the internet. And uh, that's essentially it. Now I head over to the SDK and I just re upload my avatar. Now, while this is building, let me quickly show you how you set it up in Discord. So, under keybinds, you have the toggle mute keybind. And that one is, in my case, set to numpad plus. If you want to set this to another key because you use a different keybind, that's totally possible. Let me show you what you need to do for this. With the asset, you find the application. And this one also has the source code included. So if you want, you can take a look in here and you see the source code in the Visual Studio project. I can see everything that's happening in there. It's documented. Now you have the avatar watch uh, executable that needs to run when you run VRChat to supply the watch with the data and to control your Discord mic. And you have the configuration file. In the configuration file that you can simply edit with any text editor like the Windows uh, Notepad. You will find your IP address. Uh, change this to your Quest IP address if you want to use this on Quest. You have the port for sending and receiving. Those are the default ones. This is the loopback address, so it's your local computer essentially. And the uh, parameter paths, you shouldn't change those. Uh, but one thing that you maybe want to change is the uh, key code to toggle your microphone. To do this, you simply need to uh, open the documentation again. And if you scroll down here, you will see there is a section for this, where this is described. So you need to go to a list of uh, keys and you need a converter for this. So let's quickly go there. Uh, here you will see all your keys and the hexadecimal value for this. So for backspace, um, if you would use backspace to toggle, this is what you would take here, put it in a converter, and you get the decimal value. And this value is what you need to put in here. Save the file, restart the program, and it changed to your own key. Now we will just uh, keep it default to NumPad Plus for this test. If you have this set up numpad to num numpad plus, uh, it's, uh, you don't need to change anything. It will just work. Now, after you started VRChat, it's important that you run the avatar watch executable. If you run this for the first time, it will ask you to make a firewall exception. You want to do this at least for private networks and grant access. If you somehow fail to do this uh, the first time, just type in firewall click on this scroll down to avatar watch exe you will see just one entry i have multiple because i have this multiple times on my computer you click on change settings you give the the tick here for private at least and you click ok that's it okay you will see it supplies the watch with uh set with uh, the current time and updates the parameters if there are any errors you will see it in this window here now Press R in desktop or open your radial menu. OSC. This will most likely be disabled at start, so enable it. Click on reset config because we just changed the avatar. Actually, uh, I should change first to the avatar. Okay, now reset config because we updated the avatar. You can open the OSC debug. And uh, you should see values coming in. Took a while. Okay, now I see that the program is uh, sending the values to VRChat. That's uh, crucial. Okay, I deactivate the debug. Now I take a look and I can do this by crouching usually. And now I can see on the watch that the time is changing. 
and this is my current time right now here. So again, this is a watch controller which runs on Windows and it's sending the values to the chat to update the watch. It's also doing the Discord mic toggle. So let me quickly show you this. Okay, so have a look at my mute status. If I press this, you will see that in the debug you receive the mic toggle to on in this case. You can toggle it on and off like this. But that's essentially it. If you have any issues in the documentation that I can open again. So if you have any issues, like for example, you forgot to set the firewall exception, it's all described in this document. And uh, for anything else, just uh, click on this link to join my Discord. And on my Discord server, if you join, you will essentially see the role channel only. And on the role channel, you react to the standard roles to get the user rights. And then you can uh, react to the asset role to get access to this specific asset channel. And here you can see in this asset channel, you can get help and you can just post your issue and I will uh, try my best to help you. You will also see another channel that uh, posts updates on the asset itself if new features get added or if there are any other news regarding this asset you will see it in here okay thank you very much uh, for buying this asset and uh, have a nice day